The doctor swore under oath that his patient needed to have cataract surgery until his own records proved that this patient was never a candidate for this cataract surgery. Would you like to learn what this is about? Come join me as I share with you this remarkable story. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial lawyer practicing law here in the state of New York. So the doctor tells the patient, listen, I know you have a little bit blurriness in one eye. We're going to go ahead and do cataract surgery and that'll take care of the problem. Now, the patient winds up calling me months later. Why? Because she can't see out of that eye after the cataract surgery. Days turn into weeks, turn into months, and she goes back to the eye doctor complaining about the fact that she can't see. Doctor, why can't I see? You promised everything would be fine. Doctor, why can't I see? Oh, take this medication. Let's give it some more time. Everything will be fine. It turned out she wasn't fine. She lost total vision in that eye. And when she came to me and we obtained all the medical records, I had the medical records reviewed by a number of different eye experts, ophthalmology experts. And one of the first things they told me was, do you realize that this patient was never a candidate for cataract surgery to begin with? And they went ahead and explained why. So now when I had an opportunity to question the doctor, the eye doctor, at his question and answer session known as a deposition or an examination before trial, I asked him whether or not this patient needed to have surgery. And he came right out and swore this patient absolutely needed to have surgery. Why? Well, if she didn't have surgery, her vision would get worse. Things would continue to deteriorate. And now it was much better to do it earlier rather than later on. As I went through the entire record during the doctor's question and answer session, it became totally clear that this doctor never ever should have performed cataract surgery on this patient. There was clearly no indication and what the doctor did was he convinced the patient to have the surgery and as a result of that since this patient never even needed the cataract surgery and he was careless during the course of the procedure this patient lost vision in her eye. So why do I share this quick information with you? I share it with you to give you a little bit of an insight and an understanding into what goes on in handling a medical malpractice case here in the state of New York, especially where there's a violation of the standard of medical care, of good medical practice. I realize you're watching this because you have questions or concerns about your own particular matter. Well, if your matter happened here in the state of New York and you do have legal questions, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. This is something I do every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's quick video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a wonderful day.